Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you a little bit of time um, looking at Plotly and how graphs should work, okay? Um, so the assumption is is that you have to make a graph and that you've already done it, um, depending on whatever you're trying to do, okay? Now, you need to make sure that you label your axis correctly, and if there's nothing here, if you hover over it, you'll see what happens and you just click to enter a y-axis title and so I am going to do distance here but you also have to make sure you put a unit in there make sure that the unit makes a lot of sense so distance in meters okay and I'm just going to use the symbol meters and now that's good and then you do the same thing for the x-axis and so this is going to be time capital T time and this is going to be in seconds. So now, when we click on this, you can see that now you have clearly labeled axes. That is going to be part of the grade that you get. Now, you see here it says enter plot title. You always need to have a title to your plot that makes sense based on what you're trying to graph. So in this case, um, you could call it lab one velocity okay or you could just call it velocity or density or whatever it is that you're um, whatever it is that you're plotting okay so there's that now the last thing is that I'm asking you to make sure that you include plots in your um, in your Google Doc so there's a very easy way to do this what we're going to do is we're going to hit this camera icon, okay? This camera icon will immediately download it down here and put it in there. Now, all we have to do is go to your Google Drive. This is my Google Drive, okay? Go New Google Doc. It takes a minute for me to load. It should be a lot quicker on a Chromebook. Okay. But then all you have to do is take this, click it, hold it, and drag it right up to the top as soon as this is ready. So you put that, and then you put it right in here. And when I scroll up, look, there is your there is your graph. It's got all the all the labels that we needed, it's got the title, and so that is really a simple way for getting your graphs labeled um, and you're going to be graded part of your grade is going to be making sure that your graph looks correct okay so that's how we <clears throat> um, that's how we put a graph appropriately into a Google Doc okay thanks everybody